What's this? A, a sad farewell to my kex? No, I, I just couldn't sleep. Come on, Mama. I don't want things to be weird. <laughs> what, after the last bombshell? I know I should have told you. You should have told me a lot of things. Hearing you were going up with John Paul from her! I just don't know who you are anymore. Yes, yes you do. It's me. <laughs> Your youngest, funniest, best looking son. Mum. Don't just switch off from me. You're having a relationship with a man. And you're going to Dublin together, and that is that. I really need you. I need your support. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're leaving. In every sense of the word. So let's just concentrate on that. What have we done that is so bad? I've never had a problem with gay men. I don't mind anyone being gay. Just not my son. Craig. Craig. Hey. Hey. What's the matter? I need you to come over to ours with your mum. <laughs> what? The last night? Craig, you know what she thinks about me? Please, John Paul. She's packing my stuff. I need you to help me make her understand. She's supposed to be the one person on this planet who I can turn to when things are bad. She won't even speak to me. Sarah hates me. Everyone who knows Sarah hates me. My own brother has yeah, disowned that's me. Just, that's just because he's getting he's used to the idea. He's not answering my calls, and it's all because you're a bloke. You know, none of this, none of this would be happening if you were female. Please. I don't know what else to try. Yeah, okay. I'll try, I'll, I'll do my best. I don't know what good it's going to do. We have to do something. How can we go to Dublin like this? I mean, I don't even know if I can come back at Christmas. I, I don't even know if I'm welcome. You're still a son. Now I'm beginning to wonder. I mean, there's no one I can... You know, I have no Craig. one. Craig. Craig, you've got me. All right? So what do you want to do then? Well, your mum's cool with everything, with, with, with us. Maybe she can talk to her, make her understand. I just want to put them in a room together and, and hear them talk, not shout. We've only got a day left. This is important to me. I could lose my family. Shouldn't we? Listen, um, what's wrong? I'm not crowding you and Sarah. Oh, um, I'm just tired. To be honest, I think I'm gonna head off. Oh. Come on, I'll go tell her, yeah. Hey, I thought we were having a drink. Why don't you two stay? Come on, it'll make my life a whole lot easier for you two to speak it. No, I'm coming with you. Don't, Sarah, it's all right. Besides, you could do with someone to talk with. He's not exactly deep. Oh, come on, Anne. We said we were going to do something. I just feel weird. I'll call you tomorrow, though, yeah? She's right, you know. Maybe it would be good to have a conversation once in a while. All right. Anyway, you're my old problem. 
Now I just need to show the world I'm over my ex and his gay lover. <laughs> the gay boy, his mother, ex-bird, and an old lover. How awkward is this? Hey? Listen, no one wants your opinion. Just get the drinks. I think he should. When you get something with an umbrella in here, whatever you guys drink. Shut it, you. Stop winding everyone up. Uh, me? I'm not the issue here. Darren, just shut your mouth. Oh, you're so masterful. Come on, Sarah, we should, uh, probably go off. Craig, I want to see you before you go. Sarah, come on. I don't think there's anything left to say. Hey, he's messed you around enough, sweetheart. Keep going. Humiliator. As if she would be dragged to the dirt enough already. We'll show ourselves up. Craig, I want to see you. Sir, should we go or...? Oh. I'm going to get a seat. Look, love, Craig's always been an idiot, but to turn you down for a bloke, my mind boggles. <laughs> but you know when, you know, I mean, did you know who's after a bloke? <laughs> And now you want to get to know our John Paul. After all, you've said and no. all. You said I wanted to get to know him. Are you on tablets? I presumed you'd come here to apologise. To you? What would I want to do that for? Um. I'm not going to lamp her. But just so you know, people like you make me sick. People like me? Yeah. What do you call? Hypocriticals. It's all fine until it's in your own backyard. No problem with gays, as long as it's not your kid. How do you think that makes them feel? I just think life's hard enough without the hassle of being gay. And you call yourself a mother? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. I bet you told him you'd always be there for him. Said he could come to you with any problems. That was all I, wasn't it? I don't need your advice on parenting skills. Just get out. Maybe you do. I asked them here, Mum. I want this sorted before we go away. What? You're making me out to be the baddie in all this. I mean, you two have lied to all of us. Mum, please. Look, why don't we meet up in Dublin in a few months? Oh, you just think I can drop everything, don't you? Why not? It's a good idea. You two think houses run themselves? Well, it's our last chance, OK? Myra, please. Please, Myra. I can't handle this. I'm leaving home, and I don't even know if I can come back. You... Go and pack. Myra and me will take it from here. You haven't packed yet. <laughs> you wouldn't think he was going anywhere. Boy, he's eh? Always leave it till the last minute. Don't they? <sighs> Don't know how they're going to survive in Dublin. Takeaways? I didn't mean that. It'll be all right, you know. Yeah. I just wish Craig had some idea of what he was letting himself in for. He's not got a clue. That's all part of growing up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Have you ever been to one of them civil partnerships? No. Me neither. What am I going to one? Maybe. 